So, Ranger Academy issue 2 is out now. If you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what Ranger Academy is about, well, essentially, if you've got Harry Potter, My Hero Academia, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and Power Rangers, put them all in a blender together, mix it up, well, you get Ranger Academy. And Ranger Academy is very different from the current Mighty Morphin run we've got going on right now, where that's more of an adult-centered story or teenage-centered story. This one is fun for all ages as it's got an all ages rating on it so the tone for this comic is very different compared to what we're currently reading on the channel right now so the whole premise of ranger academy is we've got this character called sage they lived on sort of like a desolate planet they eventually met some cadets from the ranger academy they snuck on board and now they're joining ranger academy and they're going to be training to be a ranger and this issue is sort of Sage adapting to the school life and sort of finding their footing and fitting in. And this issue sort of has all the story beats of the character not fitting in, feeling like they don't belong, and kind of wondering what they're doing here. Now, in this issue, we're also introduced to two brand new characters, Lindy, I believe, and Theo. They're two brand new characters. You saw them on the second uh, printing of issue one, because issue one sold out, which is great to know. But now we get to meet these characters here. And they're going to make, be the sort of like extra characters for this trio, which is not going to be Mavis and Tulia, I believe her name is. It's going to probably be Sage, Theo, and Lindy. So it's going to be these characters we'll be hanging out with as the comic goes on. One thing that I really did enjoy about this issue is seeing how the sort of school operates with all the different classes and all the different campuses with everything that goes on as we get a sort of glimpse at all the tests and all the trials and ordeals that our students have to go through to be rangers and we kind of get to see that with each of the different campuses. Uh, we have the pink lesson where they're getting tutored by someone who might be a ranger, I'm not sure, they don't really say who it is but they've got pink hair through the tube so it might be someone from history because we saw in the 30th anniversary special where characters are from the past or any timeline can be tutors for the rangers at the academy we see the black chroma campus where we get to see someone who looks like to be the same race of xeno wing sort of teaching these students how to handle hostage situations We've got the blue campus where we see someone from Aquatar, which is really nice. I do like that. That's the one thing I do like about we've seen all the different campuses is you see all these different races from the Power Rangers universe teaching these lessons. So from the blue campus, you've got someone from Aquatar teaching the students how to sort of set up camps and tents, tents in harsh weathers. And then you've got the yellow campus, which we don't really see where they're from. They kind of look like a normal human being because it's sort of from above. So you don't get a good look at their face, but they teach the rangers about medical stuff. And then you've got the red campus and that teaches these students on how to sort of climb these pillars and stuff like that. And the teacher teaching that is someone who looks to be from Kruger's race, which is a really nice touch because when Ranger Academy was first teased, there was that crystal of all the different silhouettes, and I'm guessing they were all the teachers that we'd probably be seeing as the issue goes on. Now, in this issue, we're also introduced to Nika, who is the head archivist in the library. So they hold all the records, they go over all the Ranger history, and what's interesting about this character, Nika, is they've got a scar across their cheek, but what's also interesting about Nika that we find out in this issue is they seem to have some kind of history with Sage's dad because there's this scene where Sage is looking at this hologram with all these different rangers and one of them we see in the hologram is Sage's dad and at the end of the issue you have Sage's dad contacting Nika and Sage's dad seems to know where Sage is right now so it looks like that Nika and Sage's dad seem to have some kind of history together and that history that we're probably going to uncover about Sage's father is the interesting part because you find out that Sage's dad used to be a ranger it seems like and one of the things that they teased with the solicitations with ranger 
Ranger Academy with the first trade back, I believe, is that the Green Ranger was erased from history. So one of the big mysteries in this issue is that the Green Ranger was erased from history. Now, when that solicitation first came out, a lot of people were trying to figure out what Ranger that was. Was it Tommy? Was it a different Ranger? But no, it seems like the Ranger that was erased from history was quite possibly Sage's father. But if Nika is the head archivist with the library keeping hold of all the records, and I'm guessing there might be another Green Ranger that they're sort of keeping from history and trying to hide with what happened. And that's the thing with Sage's dad, because Sage's dad seems to have some kind of Ranger knowledge. They seem to know what happened back in the day with Rangers, it looks like, and they've got a sort of history with Nika, so I am curious to see where that is going to go moving forward, because that's the big cliffhanger where Sage's dad seems to know where Sage is right now as they contact Nika on the sort of the communicator, so that's where the cliffhanger for this issue leaves off on. So yeah, that's pretty much Ranger Academy issue 2, so the whole premise of this issue was Sage settling into their new school life, not fitting in, making friends, and then you've got the mystery behind Sage's dad in the end. Overall, this was an alright issue, I'm still kind of enjoying Ranger Academy, I'm curious to see where it's going to go uh, moving forward, but I still want to sort of review it on the channel, I still want to read it and keep up with it. I am wondering to see where this issue or where this comic is going to go next, moving forward in the nearby future so what did you think of ranger academy are you still reading it are you still a fan of it i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below with that said i think i'm going to bring this video to a close if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you guys later peace out take care bye